Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Three Way Podcast, brought to you by us, really, and the producer in the background. Anyway, What's the I'm, deal? I'm Linkster101, that's Public Enemy 59, Public Enemy 50, uh, 059, Public Enemy 0059, you get it? We are on Twitter and all that good stuff, alright? 0059. So, let's just get into okay. that. Let's get into it. Alright, first off, let's go ahead and start with Pop. Pop. And so there's some big events happening right now, especially with Disney. They just merged with Fox, and it's been completed. Uh, essentially, this is it could either be good news or bad news for the Marvel Universe. What? Bad news? Uh, this is nothing but good news. Well, bad news in the sense that they decided they're not going to re- re- reboot Deadpool. They're not going to proceed what? with Deadpool. That's not correct. Um, they have cho- – they, they did – no, actually, on the contrary, a couple of, like, a month or so ago, one of the bosses said that if they continue down, like, down Deadpool, continue to do that, they're going to keep it rated R. They're not going to mess with that. And we talked about it on the show, and we, we fucking were celebrating that, that the fact that they might, they're going to, if they do decide to do another Deadpool mm-hmm. movie, they're going to keep it rated R. And that we speculated, obviously, the reason that we're going to do that is because... People would fucking riot. Well, so, um, they fucked up Star Wars, so I'm never going to believe Disney ever, 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 okay. ever. So uh, if they say, oh, we're going to keep Deadpool ready, or bullshit. I don't believe it. You're right. They could change bullshit. their minds, but that's the I mean, that's the feeling. Star Wars? They changed a lot of it. Ugh, ugh, let's not even go. But, but yeah, but it's also good because they can also bring the X-Men. X-Men. No, uh, X- so my theory <clears throat> is that... Um, so this is the Infinity War saga, right? They named it, right? Yes. The In- Infinity Stone saga or something like that. You uh, mean Endgame? Um, yeah, Endgame uh, is the end of this saga, and they gave it a name, and I think it's like the Infinity Stone saga. Um, anyways, so that's like that saga, right? And mm-hmm. I think going into the next saga is when they're going to introduce the X-Men. And uh, Feinstein, right? That's the guy who's in charge of Marvel yeah. Studios. This motherfucker has such a, has done such a good job. Well, he's a comic nerd. Yeah, and of, <clears throat> of staging when the movies come in. I'll give him that. How everything's gonna mm-hmm. be played out and planning it all like years ahead. Yeah, with 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 having the little that he had because he didn't have X Men. Yeah. Um, he didn't have Spider Man either for for a good portion and, at the very you know, beginning. Exactly, and so they brought in a bunch of the the yeah. The uh, heroes throughout the so- this saga, and he's done, I think, a great job. I think so, too. Um, uh, outside of Captain Marvel, he's done an amazing, <laughs> amazing job. Uh, and uh, the first Incredible Hulk uh, with uh, Mar- uh, what's It wasn't name? bad. What? It wasn't that Come bad. On, you guys man. hate on that. That's the worst Marvel movie. No, it's because you guys didn't see the first original Hulk at movie theaters that sucked so bad. It was nah, like a drama. This is, it was like a stupid love this story. This is canon, and it was the most trash movie in the canon. Anyways. Yeah. It's tied with Marvel my Captain thing, Marvel. Yeah. No, that there was a, another one before that. There was that. one before that. That, that was one was trash. trash. That's the one he's talking about. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one with Edward Norton. Nah, the one with Edward Norton was good. No, it, it was, was not. It was good. I'm not going to say it was great, but it's better than Captain Marvel. No uh, hidden agenda. I don't know about no that. No hidden agenda, straight no. to the point. It had action. I loved it. No, I didn't It was like way it. better. I'd rather watch that than Captain Marvel. No, and stupid I'd rather cat. watch. Come I'd on. rather watch Captain Marvel. Anyways, uh, but yeah, my idea is that the next saga is also, uh, somehow going to involve the, the X Men. Yeah. And now he has all that, vi- all those villains, all that history, all those heroes. Yeah. I mean, a next kind of uh, uh, X Force or whatever he wants to do, the next Avenger yeah. type stuff. It'll be exciting. I- so, I'm excited I mean, for it. And you're giving Feinstein all this and his mind, but as and long his long creativity, as- like. Come on, man. As long I can't as, it, wait. As, long, as long as he has it. What I mean Correct. by that is And he does. He does. So and they specifically have said that uh Feinstein is now gonna be in charge of X Men. And as long as he has that, I'm okay with it. Yeah. They did not do a Pay bad job man. with Marvel. Pay the, the only man. thing that I saw with Marvel that I did not like uh was two things. One was Captain Marvel and, 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 and her Hulk. story. And then the second thing was Hulk and, and Scarlett Johansson being in love and that was never what? in the comic books. True, but Black Widow was always with Captain America and Hulk was with Betty. Yeah, so, I get it, but uh, they're not and, They don't <laughs> so fucking they, stupid. They obviously this is its own 
I don't know. That's exactly my point. I don't know. So just goes to show you, outside of those two things, everything has been on point. I have enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm glad they're not. This is its own universe. This is its own comic run. Well, we'll and see. And so they're not going to stick to everything, everything that was in, and I It's agree. its own run. And so yeah, that's but, don't, I, but see, look. This, this is how you know they messed up. The next time, Scarlett Johansson, blonde hair, Hulk, they don't even talk. <laughs> they don't even... You That's know what I'm true. saying? So it was just stupid. Hope Why even bring it up if you're not gonna? Oh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, ho- hopefully this is one for new. Well, the world is ending for the Who Marvel cares universe. About the crush you had. The world's fucking ending. Yeah, I do. If I'm in love with Betty, I'm gonna go <laughs> trying to go smash Betty one last time. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk style. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. But yeah. But moving forward, as far as Disney, also uh, what happened over this week is Toy Story Four trailer yes. came out, and that shit looked funny to me, uh-huh. and then it. I feel like it's going to be a sad ending. You think? Yeah. Because now, you know, he gave uh, the toys to this other to, girl. To this other and girl. she's like, really? And then she makes, uh, she has all these freaking toys. And it's typical of these freaking idiot kids. Yeah, I, mean, I, think I, that was I agree. I had all these toys and I was still playing with my fucking hands. Like, I have, having a shitload of toys. <laughs> <laughs> That's slow to his little... <laughs> he still does so, it too. <laughs> so she like builds a fucking toy out of a spork and some fucking. Uh, it's like, weird as fuck. Yeah, and so he, <clears throat> that's her favorite toy. She runs away. I mean, it, the toy runs away because it doesn't want to be a fucking toy. It's a eating utensil. Uh, and yeah, it shows that adventure uh, in the trailer. So it finally de- delves into what the story is. And, and then, it, that's what I was. It was missing for me because the trailers before, <clears throat> yeah, it would show. Clips and funny stuff, yeah. and it showed uh, uh, Keenan and uh, Peel, and but that was cool. But it just never got me. Like I'm like, well, what's the hell is going on? And this trailer finally showed what the story is really and about. And it, lo- it looks very because that's a good thing about Toy Story. It always tugs at your heartstrings. So yeah. I feel like this one is yeah, probably gonna do it. And that's a, that's the other thing, man. Like, like these last couple of movies, really, like man. You know? And I think this is the last one from what, I, from what I've been reading. If I it think makes the last money, one. Toy Story's going to go on for a while. I think Tom, like, no, Tom, H- Tom Hanks came out and he was like, that's it. Like, I'm not oh, doing it anymore. Oh, yeah. They were uh, supposedly And Tim Allen, too. Tim Allen yeah, was like, that's it. Yeah, they were recording it. and they were like, it felt they were crying. sad that that was yeah. the like, last... Oh, you're right, man. So it's, I think it's the last one. But um, here's hoping to a good movie. Yeah. I've no, always I like, Toy good. Story came out when I was like 10, 11. Uh, so I was a child when that first came out. So just now growing up, yeah, it's like growing it. up with a movie. It's 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 with it's our kids. It's nostalgic it's for crazy. me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, have, I don't know about all that. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know about there's that. no announcement going on. Okay, no reveal. <laughs> so also something else that happened on this week that's very exciting, which it's huge news. Stranger. Thing season tray. That's now cool. it looked really good. It looked a lot of eighties. I saw a Terminator, a uh, uh, similar. <laughs> Can't wait. In the trailer, uh, Elias is gonna put in the background. Um, so the thing with this is that it's going to help Netflix because Netflix has been going through this thing where like they're in debt uh, due to all these shows. I feel like this show is going to get them back on track as money wise because it looks really good. They have taken their time, which shows that they really care about what they're going to present. Finally, um, I mean, ugh, they, there's too many shows on Netflix, but I, I'm glad. I disagree. Too too much stuff, man. Uh, like trash. I mean, don't get me. I mean, a lot of it is good. Hey, friends ain't ter- trash, all right, bitch. Ter- friends ain't trash. <laughs> Why so much money for that? Friends Just is funny as fuck. Keep the office. That's all you need. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, uh, I'm glad they're putting in the, you know, the. The budget for Stranger Things, uh, you know. Yeah, it's one of their main hit it's shows. So charming. The seeing the the guys grow up, you know, the kids grow up. And they're up, actual really teenagers cool. now. They look teenagers. Yeah, man. So it's really cool, man. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, and and you got a glimpse of the monster. I, I I believe it's going to be the main monster. I'm not sure. It's like that red creature. I can't wait. Uh, no, and then um they did um like this is we'll talk about the Nintendo uh, indie uh. Um, stream later, but just to talk about it now, they did announce that the video game is coming out the same day that the the show is available. Oh, okay, that's pretty so, good. And it, supposedly, they kind of want you to do it in tandem. I mean, like play. It's meant to be played while you're wa- not while you're watching it, but as you're watching the show, 
like you want to also play the game because I think it has spoilers in the game too that you don't want to see before you watch the series. Stuff like that, yeah. So well, there's like a, a lot of stuff from the show that's gonna be in the game. Oh, okay. So. Well, I mean, I, 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 all the 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 kids are coming back uh, mm-hmm. uh, as teenagers. Um, I, it, they didn't delve too much on exactly what was going on. It looked like um, um, thirteen's dad or foster father uh, is at a dating dating. It showed like him on a dating. <clears throat> I guess like you know how people go on those dating uh, dinners well, and like they have people come. Yeah, out. it, so like, he was it on looks there. like whatever him and. Uh, Oh girl, because they were ended up in the. Together. No, they didn't. No, when Ona Ryder ended yeah. up with that with Sam from Lord of the Rings, oh, and yeah. then he died. You're right. So she's heartbroken. Oh yeah, you're right. And everybody thought he was. I thought he was annoying this season too, but uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, they she's kill hot. him off. She's hot. You think when Ona Ryder shot? I, I uh, maybe so. back in the day. I don't e- know about like now. ever since back in the day, since I was like. I don't know about you know, now, I, but when I learned I, how to, I feel like oh, and then they, they brought back a lot of characters, and they, now that it's gonna have the new Star Wars feel too, because uh, 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 you know, uh, Star Wars the last, yes. uh, not the last Jedi, um, the, a New Hope. No, it's not a New Hope. For what me. are you talking about? It's New Hope, and then there is Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes back, back, and then last uh, Return, Return of the Jedi. Jedi. So Return of the Jedi might be around that time because it came around that time. Oh so I, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, um, you know. It has a lot of nostalgia from the 80s, and I was born in 1987, so a lot of that 80s stuff carried over to the 90s. I was born in 77, so, so I think I know what, what you're I'm talking no about. No wonder you're bald. <laughs> it explains a lot. So <laughs> another thing that came out, uh, which I'm excited about, is John Wick 3. Uh, so John Wick 3. Wow, this year is going to be... I know, it's low stack. Dude, video games, movie-wise, it's stacked. Detective so, Pikachu? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Pokemon? Anyway, uh, John Wick... Sword? Uh, sword and shield. It's the most stupidest thing. Uh, John Wick Three is coming out, it. Um, and the trailer shows a little bit more depth about the story. Uh, if you haven't watched John Wick and Two, please go back and watch it. What are you doing? It. What are you doing? It's amazing. Throw your kids action. out the window. Keanu go Reed watch John Wick. Does an amazing job. It's just great. Uh, I'm excited for it. A lot of action. It is based on action. For all you girls that like romantic and not action, this ain't the movie for you. Uh, so, uh, but all this right here, um, uh, Keanu Reeves are great. Uh, they show more in depth about the trailer. Uh, yeah, so it looks like he got excommunicado. So yeah, it's like of, when you do, you break the rules, whatever. Yeah, and it doesn't did. say what he did, but um, he, you saw in in, in part two oh, what he did. Okay, okay, that's what they're talking about. So oh my god, <laughs> no, I thought it was something new in this movie. No, anyway. it's not something new. Okay, it so, follows. It's a trilogy. Okay, yeah. So uh, oh my god, uh, obviously everybody's out to hunt him. He goes seeks out Halle Berry. Oh, fine ass. Halle Halle Berry. You know what's that song? How does that song go? Okay. The Halle Berry song. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, man, the scenes in this. Like, seeing it on the phone was one thing. I went to go watch a movie this past weekend, which uh, tuned into Wednesday's episode. Uh, and, man, I saw the trailer, like, big screen, in the theater. And you nutted. Almost. Because, oh. oh, my God, the fight scenes, the action scenes. The samurai the swords. Choreographed. Katanas. Like, man, it was just so slick, yeah. so badass. It, was, it, it looked badass. Things you never seen before. Like, you watch action movies, and, yeah, you have the chase scene. You have the, But you I know, love that blue pit he has man, in that like, trailer. That blue pit. She's, it just I don't know if it's a girl looked, or a guy, but it, it looks gorgeous. It just all looked badass. It, it looked like, in, just in the trailers, we saw things that I never seen in a movie, in an action movie before. So, really hyped for it. Yeah, I'm hyped for it too. I can't wait till it comes out. What date does it come out, Elias? Um, I don't, I don't know if they have released exactly when, but I'm looking forward to it. I know I mentioned it before on previous uh, on the Hump Day show for the movie trailer, so go check that out as well. Uh, where we give our 17th. May 17th, so it's right around the corner. Right around. Uh, so I'm excited for it. it's right after Avengers. So woo! Next week, I mean next month is um, Avengers. Avengers, yes. uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, hey, oh, Game of Thrones. Oh, man, we have so much stuff and content coming out for you guys. Peep out for that. We're going to do a, a, a Sunday night show for the Game of Thrones every time it comes out. Every episode. Yeah, and we might even go uh, do a little video when we go watch the Avengers. It's going to be super hyped. <gasps> I'm very excited for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and move forward to gaming. Pew, 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 pew. But you got to do your hand thing. Remember what you used to do back Game in the day? Game over. <laughs> My voice is re- really gone after yesterday. Yeah, well. Kind of went hard yesterday. It was a great Saturday. Yeah, that's what happens when you go to Montrose. And, um, it wasn't Montrose. 
<laughs> anyway, so the big news in gaming that everybody, everybody is talking about is, of course, Stadia. Stadia. Uh, Stadia. Stadia. It's pronounced Sta and then Dia. Stadiums. Stadia. 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 So anyway, Stadia, Stadia. Uh, Google came out with their idea of, I wouldn't say a new console. I would say live stream service. Yeah, uh, I new, mean their new platform, gaming platform. But that's not a gaming platform. That's it, more it, streaming. No, not console. Platform is like something you that is, you know, it's a platform that they're using. To but release. it's invisible. <laughs> it's not a bit, but yeah, so <laughs> it's not something you have. It's not a console that you yeah. have or a little box. Nothing. Well, this is very interesting because this is the first time because other companies have tried to do this as well and have failed. Yeah, so sure. Google is taking the the initiative of pushing something that is very futuristic, guys. This is very futuristic. I never future. thought I, I would see this in my We're day in the age, future. Where essentially... Um, Hi, the down everybody. <laughs> we're in the future. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the era now of live streaming everything. Movies, uh, 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 videos, and now porn. gaming. Porn. Um, so to essentially... To buy a video tape cassette at the store to be able to watch it. I know nothing of these things. Or order uh, over the phone for Girls Gone Wild. What? (laughs) They used to show it on UPN 20 uh, after like all the channels were done. You remember? It was like really late and they did like a promo. It'd be a promo all fucking night. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 90s and 2000s. You were awesome. Anyway, uh, back on track. Let's uh, let's get back on track, guys. Sorry. Um, So, (laughs) uh, Stadia. uh, Stadia. uh, um, we need to look how they, I know they say Stadia, Stadia, but the English guy was saying Stadia. Stadia. Anyway, uh, they, they're they doing this live platform where they stream video games. Correct. And essentially, you will be able to play on any type of console, whether it be your phone, TV, uh, your actual, I don't know about actual gaming systems, but as far as no, no, you no. buy a control and it's connected to your Wi-Fi and automatically links up your TV as long as it has the correct amount of depth. depth and, uh, For the TV, you need the Google. Yeah, so Google, yeah, the Chromecast. Yeah, so there's that Chromecast that you can stream video games through, or you could do it through your phone, which I imagine they're going to do an app, yeah. or straight from YouTube somehow, or from maybe from YouTube well, it opens I, up the Stadia Google app. Yeah. yeah, I know. So it's pretty cool because essentially you can stream to like any of your like devices. Yeah, and, and I have an old school Google TV with Google Chromecast, so I don't know... If it's gonna be for my TV or probably not, not, probably not. <laughs> uh, probably, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but they like did come out and they said that you can play 4K, and they're working on 8K. Well, are you able to watch like YouTube channel stuff? On yeah, there? I can. Well, you probably can. Whoa. Yeah. Well, so I yeah, have to uh, buy Google TV. They're they're saying that you know, depending on your speeds, of course, which is the big caveat. It's the big, in this, yeah, I agree. Is that, you know, yeah, you can stream up to 60 frames per second, 4K. They even have the ability to upscale it to 8K in the future. So they're future proofing it. Basically, um, they can they can confirm to the times. They, they don't have to sell another box in the future when it, uh, visuals are upgraded. They can continue to upgrade this this streaming service as, you know, yes. a dev- uh Technology catches up. And they did up. show a video game that will be on uh, Stadia, Stadia. Um, it will be Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah, the, they showed a clip where they're watching a, a video on YouTube, and then you they click on, on where it says play. Uh, play Now, and it starts exactly where that video started from, and you can play. You can play. So that was kind of cool, and it also shows like if, if someone is streaming, like uh, like uh, in, in Twitch, someone is streaming, you can click YouTube. on them yeah, and on well YouTube. Not gonna do yeah. It Twitch. It's, well, it's streaming I, on YouTube. We'll see because Twitch money wise, if it's money there Twitch is owned by um Amazon, Amazon. so they're not gonna work. You don't with, think so? No, they're right. Because the the well, okay, perhaps. But <clears throat> as far as that goes, they can join that YouTuber and they can actually play with that YouTuber. Yeah, like so they have a little bit more access. There's like a link where basically in the game you could send that link to your chat and people could join your game. Like mm-hmm. there's no way also uh if you want people to play a certain level the streamer can put a link out for their same like spot in the game so other people safe state yeah so people can go ahead and play that level so a lot of cool stuff they're trying to do uh my thing about it is that man this is not just some other like 
unknown company trying to come out and do a streaming service for True. games. This is Google with trying to billions, put their stamp. Yeah, yes, with sure. their billions of dollars that they have in resources, their you know technology that they have in resources, the you know internet capabilities that they have at the disposal. And I have to talk about that. And trying to jump into the gaming space. So, yeah. I am excited about that, but there was a lot that was not shown. revealed. A lot that was not shown. Uh, pricing. Is it going to be a subscription? Are you going to have to pay for each of these games? Agree. Um, How much will it be? When is the release date? Uh, so, that... No, the, the release date? They said it was going to be this year. Yeah. They said it was going to be this year. But when? When twenty? I mean, if you're going anything, <clears throat> and if you want to make money, you're always going to push it to the end of the year That's around true. Christmas. In November. September. So th that's going to occur. Oh. The one thing that I really <clears throat> locked on uh, with this, um, I would say, reveal uh, of Stadia is cross platforming. I thought that was really, really important to them. Oh, but from that your gives to your iPad. Was... No, but they, they can also, that means that they can add other games of Xbox. Uh, and because Xbox is the more inclined to do cross platforming and Nintendo. Um, so that just leaves one console that's not that good out. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe who knows? Maybe you mean like I'm on my phone playing Sea of Thieves, and you're correct. On your Xbox playing Sea of Thieves, like correct? Platform with Xbox specifically. That's interesting. That's a that's an interesting, and that's point. a good selling point. Well, for for Google, um, on Xbox, then it's widely speculated, uh, and another thing we were going to talk about also is that. There's, it's rumored that Xbox has a just streaming console, all digital console coming out later this year, um, yeah. which basically looks like the Xbox One S with no disc, um, with no disc slot, no eject button. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I know. Just full hard well, yeah, yeah. So it'll be just like your your black or white uh, Xbox S, which is a very thin version. It just won't have no disc. You just turn it on, and you'll be able to uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. So. Uh, Related. But my thing is, it sounds design. like Xbox. Well, they tried to do that in this uh, in this um, generation with the yeah. Xbox One. They initially said this was going to be an all digital console or game, you know, and you can. Well, it kind of is. Like that, if you did have a disc, you know, you would it would be locked. You wouldn't be able to resell it or, or share it. And people didn't like and that. And PS4 though. came out the better console and totally did a did a fucking twenty second video and shut that shut uh, Xbox down. Um, but anyways, Xbox has been wanting to go this way. So I feel like if the next Xbox decides to go all digital also or all streaming, whatever the case may be, um, they're, that's directly competing with what Google's trying to do. So I feel like, I don't know if they would want to wor work with uh, Google. I'm sure they but have their right. games. X Xbox has been the forerunner in working with all these other companies yeah. that they're at in competition. I agree. So, Especially with Nintendo and uh, with correct. things going on now. Uh, you know, Stadia is is something that we have to learn more. They're going to come out in E3. Uh, they, maybe. They, maybe. It's uh, not confirmed. But they, I'm they pretty should. sure they are. They I'm should, pretty sure. Yeah. There's no way you're going to leave something hanging like that and not build up on it. Uh, they um, have to do it. People are talking about it. They're like the main thing as far as gaming right now because people are talking about it. They did show that Doom was going to be on there as well. Doom, Doom Eternal. Yeah. Doom Eternal. So so there's a lot of things that are popping up for them um, that it, it, it shows. I'm not going to say great things. It shows potential. Yeah. So of it what does. it could be. So we'll hopefully, because I mean, I never it's thought off today. So it's the future. Hopefully. Uh, Welcome. Uh, <laughs> we're in the future. Uh, hopefully we can see exactly what. We kind of are in on. the future because this is when uh, Monday. It's not Monday. So we're in the future. All right, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> moving forward, uh, as, as we were just discussing, the Xbox One S is an all-digital di edition. It's it's being rumored to be released. If it's being rumored, more than likely they yeah, are I mean, working and on it's, it. it. It gives them a, a, and it's weird how it came out around the same time as uh, <laughs> Stadia. Uh, and it gives them a, a option to put out an even cheaper uh, a version. Yeah. yeah, out yeah. there. I agree. Um, Cause yeah, instead of I think the Xbox One S is what two hundred or one ninety nine or it's one ninety nine. Oh, it's down now. Oh, I might just so buy imagine one. Imagine putting like a cheaper Xbox One S out yeah. there that doesn't have a disc, comes out with a one terabyte hard drive, uh, and so and yeah. I don't know about one terabyte. They gotta put more. I, external. They gotta hard put drive, more, man. man. No, it's one. Terabyte. Man, I don't like those external hard drive. Man, just. Give me more. Give me more. So I can man. You pay more. So there's no point. It's the cheaper version. Mm. So um 
yeah, so uh, very interesting. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're leaving all because Xbox has not said shit about anything. So I'm pretty sure. Which makes me like suspicious. Like something big's no, coming, man. E3 is coming. PS, yeah, uh, they're so, so fucking quiet. Like yeah, PS. Uh, E3 is coming. They're going to wait. They're going to hold all these announcements for E3. Cause and they're having a Sony's good year. Sony's not there. Sony's not there. Oh, and Sony did announce that they're doing a state of play, like a Nintendo Direct. Base. Everybody always takes for Nintendo. Um, but the, they're doing no, they a don't. state of play. Like that was all a Xbox. Stream, uh, March 20, 25th or 26th, something like that, um, where they're basically going to now announce what they got going on for the year. Because they're, they're not doing E3 this year, so they're doing what Nintendo did before and doing just their own streams at their own time whenever the hell they feel like it. Well, I mean, uh, this year has been a really good year for, for Xbox simply because of the fact of Resident Evil, you got Devil May Cry, uh, you got Sekiro that just came out. There's a lot of good games coming out and it's building up and I feel like, uh, and as I told y'all, you guys last year, this year is the year of Xbox. Like, it's, it's going... I feel like E3 is going to be a super special we'll event. I can't I'm wait. Excited. I'm thinking I of taking the day off. Parties. I'm taking the day off just to watch E3. Yeah, um, let's do it. And I mean, I can get paid live for watching it and live stream, you know. Uh, so we're looking into that, guys. Please be aware of that. Uh, uh, well, yeah, for my company. You know, <laughs> I get paid. PTO, PTO, motherfuckers. Uh, but yeah, so I, this year E3 is going to be big. And not just for uh, Xbox, Nintendo too. Uh, um, yeah. You, you know, Sony's they had not a, there. Sony's not there, so it's uh, now a free for all. <laughs> Strut your stuff. Did you get the date for PlayStation State of Play? Okay, so yeah, March twenty fifth. So that's on Monday, I believe, that or Tuesday. Tomorrow. Yeah. So boom. Uh, the probably right after after we watch this, you'll be able to see what the hell Sony got up their sleeve. I don't know if they'll announce for the whole year, maybe just spring or summer, because they might not want to announce like play all their cards yet, but. Um, God damn, these motherfuckers are starting late as fuck. These are starting better. in the afternoon. Like, oh shit, but I work. Fuck. Okay, anyways, yeah. So, uh, uh, next thing we have to talk about yes. is Nintendo did have an, uh, one of their streams just this past uh, week. Uh, the Nintendo Indie Showcase, uh, where basically they dedicate uh, 30 minutes, 20, 25 minutes to full all the indies coming out. Uh, and uh, they give them a spotlight. And you know, Nintendo has become the indie machine where everybody prefers to play in the indies. Because, first of all, the graphics aren't that great on Nintendo Switch, so it makes it a lot easier well, for other platforms. Well, the Switch is portable, so you can take it anywhere. And that so makes it's, it good. It's perfect for me playing these small indie games, so you can take it anywhere. So, you know, I, whenever I have a choice of buying an indie game on PS4 or Xbox or Switch, you gotta go with the Switch. Duh. Um, anyways, uh, Cuphead got announced for the Switch. W wasn't Cuphead an indie game for Xbox? It was. Okay. Yeah, so uh, uh, that just showing, just like your point earlier, that Xbox and Nintendo have that, you know, no, something in the no bed. Hand. They they fucking around. No or something. Hand. These fools are having like hardcore relationships. Uh, Xbox just giving out their best titles out to the Switch. Well, because it's money, because they're gonna get a portion That's of all true. that. And That's then true. like you, you're, everybody you're, makes you're, money. You're promoting kids who are like, because uh, once again. Nintendo's marketed for a lot for kids. The the kids are going to be like, oh, I can play this game, and it's not that uh, it's not that graphic. Cuphead is really good. We've played it. It's fun. It is fun. It's a it is game. challenging too. It is. It is. It's a really good game. Um, they announced some other indies that I uh, never heard before. My friend Pedro, which is like a that, weird. Is that racist? <laughs> it's like a, a, the friend is this banana. Oh that my god. You run around with Hispanics aren't bananas, assholes. You have a slowdown time. We might sell them though. And there's a physics engine to it that you're like grabbing things and like you're basically I mean, it looked pretty cool. So you're saying you're cool. grabbing bananas? No, you're grabbing like you're running through levels, killing motherfuckers and like With a banana? Them up. No. He's kind of guiding you. I don't get the the what the parallel why he's So like, the banana's name is Pedro. Yes. So uh you're running around you're killing motherfuckers, grabbing like, like Does he say, hey, items, like, hey, senor, and hey, senor, ben if, aquí. If you throw it at a certain <laughs> angle, it'll like bounce and kill multiple motherfuckers. So you're like killing people. It looked pretty cool. Hey, senor, senor, uh, aquí. Neocab, which kind of is, it's a weird one. I don't know if this be something Never heard like of that. it, but uh, it, it's kind of like, uh, kind of, uh, you're keeping your person, like, you're, you're doing uh, these missions. 
But the as you're tri- driving people around, you're like an Uber, a cab driver. Um, your mood, whatever the conversation there determines your mood, and your mood determines what the your, fuck. You're like. Your your loadout. I don't know some shit weird like that. Oh, the Red Lantern. It's a uh, basically a game where you're like, uh, you know, where those people that are in the winter spots and you got the wolves and you're in the sled. What's it called? Like you're like the wolves are right in the ring. Sled. Uh, no, it's not sledding. I forget what it's called, but um, uh, mush. I know how to say mush. 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 But there's a race, the Iditarod, and basically this girl, she's never really accomplished anything in her life, so she's trying to do the Iditarod, where it's like a trek with the wolves, where you, like, do this whole, like, uh-huh. marathon kind of thing, and, like, she experiences, like, obviously wildlife, hunger, and you gotta, like, f- get through it, so you're trying to get through the Iditarod. So, Balto. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Balto is like that. It's wolf sledding, or, or dog sledding. Dog sledding, okay. Um, uh, Katana Zero look pretty cool. It's a 2D action, uh... Uh, a fast pace, you're slicing, you're dicing, you have a slowdown. Oh, you can, like, uh, if they shoot bullets at you, which are katana, you can boom, bounce it back at them, but you gotta be pretty precise, so it's gonna take practice. Looks pretty cool. Rad by Double Fine. Uh, so Double Fine obviously has made some of the best adventure games in, uh, in all of, uh, you know, in the history of games. Uh, and now they're tackling this game. It's like, um, uh, you deal with mutations, because it's like, obviously, the world is radiated. Um, uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. You're like, uh, you know, killing motherfuckers. You can mutate to gain different powers. Um, Blood Roots look good. Pine looks good. It's like a Zelda-like kind of RPG. So, essentially, there's just a lot of fucking games that are coming out for the indie. Because I'm not going to go through every <laughs> uh, single one. We talked about Stranger one. Things. And then the big announcement at the end was Cadence of Hyrule. Which is kind of like, there was this game before called Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which was kind of like... like, like uh, the beginning like, of... of uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so Crypto the Necro Dancer was this game that basically used rhythm, and it was like an adventure game, top-down adventure game. Kind of looked like a Zelda game at times. So it seems that Zelda has teamed up with the developers and made like a mashup, and it's called Cadence of Hyrule. Like, you move and attack according to the rhythm of the game. It's weird. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, correct. So, <laughs> so they uh, the original did that, and now they're remixing the uh, Legend of Zelda soundtrack. That'll be interesting. The game, very interesting. I've never messed with Crypto the Negro Dancer, but I'm I'm, I'm excited to see right. what, what they could do with the you know Legend of Zelda properties. But All yeah. right. Well, that that pretty much does it for gaming. We look forward to seeing what uh, Stadia E3. Uh, uh, occurs of course with the playstation so keep tuned out for that guys uh but let's go ahead and move forward uh, to our last uh, uh uh topic here which is of course sports so um i was expecting a, a little bit more enthusiasm <sighs> touchdown it's a home run sports <laughs> so uh, one of the big news that came out in sports is of course uh, Robert Kraft coming out he made a statement and I'm, I'm paraphrasing here he said I'm a cheater I know I'm a cheater I've cheated my whole life uh, so that's not, how I want to both not quotes so uh, you know that's how I cheated and I cheated on my wife my young wife because I just he apologized to... so I'm sorry for being a cheater that's basically the gist of it no he, he, he apologized he came out he apologized because uh, they gave him a plea deal they were like look motherfucking old ass Punk ass, bitch ass, cheating ass owner. If you say you guilty, we'll let you slide. You got your little tug job, we'll let it slide. He was like, all right, I guess I'm guilty. So <laughs> as he came out, he said he was guilty. Um, he pretty much isn't fighting it. He made the league look bad, but he I think he only paid, what was it, $5,000? He only paid $5,000 for the little tug job, you know what I'm saying, to the NFL. And uh, he's going to move on. And uh, that's pretty much it. It just makes the the Patriots look even worse than what they really are, um, especially for him. Like I remember, he took uh, all those players to Israel on a Christian trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It's on the NFL movies. He took them to Jerusalem, oh, and on a Christian trip, they were even praying and stuff. And like all the players are talking about, he's a good man. Like with a good Christian man. Hey, and, man. And I'm not making, hey, hey, we all have weaknesses. And I mean, uh, uh, you know, la carne is débil, or or I would say the flesh is is weak. uh, And I understand that. Um, But, I mean, it's a bad look 
for that Christian man. It's Who a cares? Really He's bad rich. Man. He could put his shit in whoever he wants. It's America. You have the uh, right to be free. So whatever. His weakness, ja- uh, Chinese women, I think. Uh, with Japanese women. Oh, because the, the, the lady who was in charge of that... Um, uh, that prostitution. Um, she was at his Super Bowl parties. She would be in the background, like she had pictures with him. Yeah, he was I really mean... good friends with the with the <laughs> what? Oh yeah, really good friends. <laughs> really good friends. Uh, uh, no, uh, he... We wish you. You. We hope you get well soon, uh, Mr. Oh Kraft. my God. Uh, we, He's not prayers, sick, dumbass. Prayers and thoughts, man. That motherfucker is not sick. Thoughts and prayers. Sick in the head, maybe, but not. Thoughts sick. Thoughts and prayers. Man, just take Advil, bro, and do your wife, man. Come on. And if you don't like your wife, get another one. Like, you're rich. You can get all these young... Look at Jerry Jones. He got all these young girls Thoughts running around and prayers, taking man. pictures of him, doing some crazy Thoughts. stuff. Thoughts and Thoughts. prayers. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and move forward to the NFL. Some uh, stuff did occur besides Robert Kraft. Uh, we know Clay Matthews is now with the Rams for two-year yes. contract. Which Wow, the Rams stacking up, <laughs> man. Shit, are we having enough... Another season. I where... don't think Clay Matthews at the end of his career. He's not the Clay Matthews. Yeah, old. but when you put him around a team Talent, of playmakers yeah. like that, I mean, he doesn't I mean, have to do everything he was doing before. I agree. Right? He doesn't have to carry the defense. So now he gets to just. You got to do your one role. Yeah, you know, you I don't agree. Gotta try to do too much. So, and I mean, he still looks healthy and fast well, we'll and see. strong to me. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I, uh, also, not only that, uh, uh, Vontae Burfitt. Uh, from the Cincinnati Bengals, Correct. he's with the Oakland Raiders now, wow. and he's the one that did that that nasty hit on Antonio Brown, and they had beef. But Antonio Brown was like, "No, man, we don't got beef no more. We just yeah. same team." So but I was like, "Yeah." And Vontae Burfitt, be glad. if I'm, I don't care how many times Perfect stuck the crap out of me. If he's coming to my team, I'm welcoming him with open yeah, arms. Yeah, but that dude gets a, has a history of suspensions and doing dirty uh, plays. We need Oakland needs. Dirt yeah, that's, that's why everybody's saying he's a players. great fit because he's a dirty little player, and he and Oakland Raiders are known for their dirty players. Um, I, Vegas, maybe not man. recently. Las maybe Vegas. not recently. Las Vegas. But, uh, well, I don't know how, as an Oakland fan, you can go to the games like this season. Like, I don't know. Either. How are you gonna go to the games? You know, next year they're gonna be gone. Yeah, like they're leaving you. Why would you pay? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's, it's tough because I would feel betrayed. Houston fans were like, but when, uh, they when never the gave him left, a fucking stadium. Like, when, yeah, no, but yeah, I, I, give him a fucking stadium. But Oakland doesn't want to give him fucking dirt. Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't blame him for leaving. And yeah, I, yeah. that's why I don't blame uh, Bud Adams. Well, I kind of blame Bud Adams for leaving because we did we did offer him that stadium, and then we were gonna build one for the Astros, but he wanted a new stadium and he wanted the Astros to stay there. So Bud Adams was a, a little bitch. That's why he died. And um, wow. yeah, and uh, he has our oil uh, no our oiler no colors. Wants- we need our oiler colors back. Fucking people in Tennessee, we want them back. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers don't deserve it. That should be like our, um, you know, the do the our Thursday throwbacks. Nights. We should be our throwbacks. No, like they do the Thursday night, like uh, JJ, JJ Watt was trying to get that. The owner too, before he died, he was trying to get them colors back. Cause I mean, hey man, we love you, blue. Y'all love y'all, stupid. Anyway, okay. uh, so anything else happened in the NFL that I I don't recall? Uh, not really. Just final acquisitions. Uh, man, uh, the. The combine has happened, and yeah. there's I saw some some pretty good talent up in there, man. Yeah, well, we all saw a lot of quick talent so much in the combine, and they they bust. Well, that's Ryan where all Leaf, like, that's where all the talent Vince from Young, the NFL comes from. So Sam, Sam Bradford, all the good players are from the combine. Colt, I've been through the combine. Colt McCoy. So um, a couple of the shitty players. Uh, I mean, all Peyton the talent. Peyton Manning into the combine. All the talent. Tom Brady into the combine. Perfect. Yeah. Was in the combine. Yeah, Tom Brady was in the no, combine. No, he wasn't. He was. He was. You want to bet on it? That's why he was a six round pick. He didn't try hard. Try hard. You want to bet on it? Okay. Because I watched that combine many times. I love watching Tom Brady's uh, combine. It's yeah. the best thing ever. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, uh, nah, man, just a, a lot of final moves. I'm excited. I'm the excited season, for the season. season Except is for the Texans because I, I don't see, they haven't upgraded their offensive line. They look like. They did uh, t- uh, get uh, Khalil. K- Khalil, yeah, which an is an older. Pro. Yeah, an older guy. An older so. guy. So, I mean, hey, hey, Texans, yeah, you didn't sign nobody. Yeah, you didn't sign nobody for the offensive line, stupid-ass head coach. <laughs> well, so we'll the see. GM, we'll see. The GM has made really good moves last year. Um, we'll see what he does this year. I, maybe I should to keep my mouth shut. Let me the just, drive. He did get rid of all the cornerbacks. He did get so, rid of He got new cornerbacks. Which we've been... Yeah, we've been we bitching been about it. Like Bye, years. Kareem Jackson! Punk ass, sorry ass cornerback that can't even cover. My grandma runs faster than you. Oh, sorry My ass. My grandma is pretty fast. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh. So in MLB, 
We have mad contracts being given out. Well, the main one is the one you're wearing. Justin Verlander signed with the Astros. No, well, that too. Uh, given $22 million to stay uh, with the Astros for a couple more years. But another big contract, Mike Trout got an extension, got a, got a renewal on his uh, contract. Uh, $420 million, which makes it the biggest North American contract in sports history. Uh, only the fucking uh, soccer players in Europe are getting bigger contracts. Um but yeah, Mike Trout with the biggest contract in the U.S. ever, uh, staying with the Angels. Um, yeah, man, it's fucking. He's he's always been in the MVP running for the last oh, fucking years, however long that's been. Uh, still performing. Uh, you know, L.A. wanted to keep him around, and that's what's gonna happen. He gets a huge ass deal. Um, yeah, the Astros getting Verlander and Presley. Uh, so uh, you know. Building their the bullpen at the same time, um, Yankees extending people. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it, it, the, you know, spring training is almost over. Uh, the season opening day is on Thursday. I'm excited for it. Um, I think it's gonna be a great season. I'm gonna be keeping up with it for sure. Heading to some games. Uh, but yeah, a whole new season. Ready to see who the hell is gonna take that uh, that pennant. Uh, the Red Sox are looking pretty good. They're trying to go for back to back for the first time in 19 years. Uh, so we'll see if they can pull it off. Who won this last World, uh, World Series? Uh, the Red Sox. The Red Sox uh, won the last one. So yeah, they're trying to go for the for the back to back, which like I said, hasn't been done in 19 years. So. Uh, it's been a while since there's been like a dynasty in, in, in baseball. And that's why I like it because it's so hard to win again. It's so hard to win one, nonetheless two. So, uh, How long have you been watching baseball? Uh, 19 years. So I'm really excited to, to see who's going to get into the playoffs because it's hard to just get into the playoffs. Uh, not a lot of teams make it into the playoffs. So uh, really excited. Uh, we'll see where this goes. All right, but moving forward, uh, so something that did happen, uh, matter of fact, yesterday, um, which is kind of big news to me, um, D'Angelo Russell, who was traded from the Lakers, went to Brooklyn, he was an all-star player now, really good player, really, really, Ma- Magic got rid of him because he snitched on, um, on uh, P, uh, what's his name, Swaggy P? Uh, cause he, when he was dating, oh yeah, yeah, Nick Young, he, 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 he chose Nick over, no, he chose, uh, um, no, cause Nick had left, but, oh yeah, okay, oh, you're right. Yeah, but uh, he basically snitched on on Nick Young. Uh, what what uh, he was cheating on his, uh, Nick uh, Iggy Azalea. Okay, anyway, yeah, yeah. point is he came back, and uh, mathematically the Lakers were still somewhat in it. But if they lost to the Brooklyn Nets, they would be automatically out. Like there's no way. Mm-hmm. Uh, D'Angelo Russell scored 21 points. I'm thinking, I think he made like five threes, um, and knocked him out and said bye bye. <laughs> And the Lakers are out of the playoffs, which is big news. Uh, essentially, now what they're going to try to do is try to find out some trades, uh, try to hype up LeBron again for next year. I, think, I don't think Nick. They, I don't think they don't have. I don't think number one they have because now they're trying to go from what I hear. Zion, uh, what's his name? Zion Williams. Yeah, or, Williamson. Yeah. Yeah, Williamson, which is supposedly like the next coming of uh, 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 Sean Kemp slash LeBron James. Um, yeah, if you would watch basketball back in the day, you would know who Sean Kemp was. <clears throat> but Sean Kemp, the old, the, the, the old, the old Sean Kemp, not the, not the old fat one, um, that, from the late '90s and early 2000s. Anyway, point is, um, they're in the race now. Uh, it looks like they're going to shut down LeBron James, or they're discussing. Might it. as well. I mean, uh, you're not in the playoffs. I uh, LeBron's not young. Like save him. Put the young guys out there. Well, Let them I mean, get some reps. I don't. I don't. Uh, that's not their fault that LeBron's not young. LeBron chose to go there. LeBron had options to go to winning teams, teams that had the pieces to win a championship this year and next year. And he chose to go to Lakers, who have no draft picks, have no good players. Um, they have a shitty. Uh, and I'm sorry, Magic Johnson has been a shitty general manager. The only thing that he's got was Kyle Kuzma, and that's it. And Kyle Kuzma, he was trying to trade uh, for Anthony Davis. So to me, next year, I unless. They get Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving uh, and, and those sweepstakes for the All-Stars. Uh, the Lakers will not make it to the playoffs again. And LeBron James will That's the thing. They, they need another uh, All-Star and they're in the playoffs. Cause, they're in the playoffs, uh, but they're not going to win a championship. Yeah, that's, that's they're not going to win a championship. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's the first time uh, LeBron hasn't made it into the playoffs in like... I think it's 14, 15 years? Yeah. Fucking long ass time. Because I know the first year he didn't make it to the playoffs, but yeah. the second year he started going like continuously. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's been like a fucking long ass time. It's been a long ass time. So I mean, um, 
I think, you know, he's not tripping. He's in L.A. where he wants oh, to Oh, yeah. Be. He's in Hollywood. He's doing his shows. He's doing this. He's doing that. Promoting Space Jam 2. So, uh, yeah. So, uh... 2005. 2005. So, fuck, like... 14 years. 14 yeah. years, yeah. 14 years. Damn, so, yeah. he so, came in 2004. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, I think he's not tripping. I, I wouldn't be totally, like, panicking if I'm the Lakers. Like, man, he came into a young team. That's happens. You're not... You're, might not make the playoffs. These guys just need to develop, switch it to that next year, and maybe. But they're not up. gonna develop because they're gonna get traded. And that, and that, think, I, I'm gonna be gonna laughing. I'm gonna be laughing when they trade all these players. I don't think. And they're gonna, gonna get Kyrie Irving, who's injury prone. Because now, and they're gonna get, and because they're not gonna get Kevin Durant. I think Kevin Durant's gonna go to New York. I would want Kevin Durant. Kyrie, Kyrie has pretty much kind of made it. Like he, he would be down. I know Kawhi Leonard doesn't want to be with LeBron James. I know that for a fact. Uh, uh, not a lot of players like to go play with LeBron James because, from what we've heard this past week, he doesn't like to be coached. Yeah, if he gets uh, Kyrie, they can win a championship. I don't think so. Yeah, he only won one with Kyrie, and and. and like I said, if he, I don't think that if he gets Kyrie, he's, he could win a championship. I think LeBron James is going to be known number one for going Hollywood and for number two creating super teams, um, not actual for winning, which kind of sucks because he's a great player. But at the end of his career, instead of choosing wisely, he chose money. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, and like the thing was Michael Jordan, like he was forced to retire due to his general manager, but he retired when he had six fucking rings and was known as the best player in the whole goddamn world, probably uh, of, of all of NBA. So instead of going that, and because the money was gonna come after that, uh, he chose not to. So he chose. So, okay, you fall players. <laughs> oh, he just wanted the money. Okay, you talk shit about them for that. Now, but then. When they build super teams, oh, he just won it because he's with this, this, this. So it's like, what the fuck? What do you want the guy to do? I want guys you to can't compete. Win I can't want guys. He's to competing compete. in L.A. He's playing his ass. He's comp- That's not competing. What do you want? That's not his fault. He didn't. He didn't. He, he, didn't, he was, What do you mean it's not his correct. fault? Correct. So he, what do you he want? He was a free. Let me put so it. So you, you, you F-R-E. talk shit because they make he money. He was a free agent. Take, no, I'm not talking. No, don't, don't put words team. in my mouth. I don't talk Where? shit because they make money. So what are you tripping on? I'm him tripping about? on about because he could have won championships. Who cares? He, he had the ability. The he had the ability to go to a winning championship. He could have won two or three more, and he would have caught up with Michael Jordan. Yeah, and he would have been then regarded. Then you he would have been regarded as the best. Uh, no, but he already had started that. I wouldn't have ambition anymore. He would have started that. So what are you tripping? He already won championships. Now he's gonna go. He's only won three. And there's caps in the NBA. He would have gotten the same deal anywhere he would have fucking gone. You're stupid, bro. You can so, tell you don't watch basketball, bro. You can't go anywhere. No, you who wouldn't cares? have the same deal. He would have to I take... I don't know why you give the, the guy so much shit. Because he chose... Uh, get it, get he on Durant. chose Hollywood. Get on Durant. I do get on Choose Durant. Super teams. I, 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 don't, I don't regard nah, Durant as a great player. I don't see you getting on the No, ball, I even said it before. Let I it go. Regard, get dick. I don't regard who Kevin cares? Durant as a great player. He chose to go to a team. He was free. I'll give him that. He was free. He chose to go to a team Who cares? that already had rings. So it just shows to me that he didn't want to compete. He was tired. He won Cleveland a championship. Someone no one would have done. He went back to Cleveland and won him a championship. Yeah, with Kyrie fucking Irving and Kevin Love. Are you fucking hey, kidding Kevin me? Kevin Love? Kevin Love? Please. Bro, Fuck really? Out. Really? With Kyrie. Kevin Love didn't do shit and everybody knows that. He scored five threes. You can't even score two twos. Bro, Ky- with Kyrie. <laughs> with two All-Stars against the a fucking All-Star team. All right, so please, LeBron's done what he has and to do. And without Kevin Durant, he won the fucking come out of nowhere three uh, behind three one and fucking won that championship. LeBron's done everything he has to fucking do. So uh, I don't, I don't uh, want to hear. Uh, if he wants to go to LA and make movies, uh, fuck hey, yeah, go. He hasn't done shit. He, what? He, he said he wanted to chase the ghost. He said he was chasing the ghost. Yeah. I'm not lying. It Down three one against a team and, full and of he was all-stars. chasing the ghost and fucking and came back and the won. The ghost it. won. Came back it's and like, won. It's like he's it's done like, everything. You see, he has to have do. you ever played against yourself in Mario Kart and you have like a badass record and you're trying to beat that badass record and then you just never so get, get there? Get off LeBron's That's dick. That's LeBron James. Get off LeBron's he, dick. Nah, LeBron, he's in LA. LeBron, deal with it. LeBron he's making mad money. Sponsored by Nike. We're looking for the next player. I don't care if he's sponsored by Nike. Kiss my ass. He Deal is not it. going to be known as... Uh, he's Space Jam 2, coming soon. In the top 10. Uh, it's coming soon, deal with nothing it. Nothing good, nothing good. Stupid, dumbass, should have gone to either Rockets, OKC... Uh, he he don't need no more chances. He could have gone to the Pacers. If he didn't, doesn't win he any more chances, he's still the greatest of all time. And he would have been, so no, it doesn't matter. He would have been chasing rings. He could have gone to Toronto. He could have gone to Milwaukee. Baby. Hollywood. He could have gone anywhere. But Deal he's with Hollywood it. where he, he's never going to win shit. So he's only going to be known as one of... Oh, I mean, it's not bad being known as one Switch of the greatest. Switch to Durant. But not the greatest. Get on Durant's dick. Ah, hey. I'm saying Durant is not that good. Durant's a little uh, a little pussy too. All right. He should have... Deal with it. Hollywood. He should have wanted to combine. Space Jam 2. Coming soon.
You don't even watch basketball or baseball. You just started like two years ago. Let's calm down on that. Anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, uh, we appreciate you. Please click the like button. Thank you guys. And subscribe. Uh, ring the bell. Uh, we are on Anchor. Uh, we are on uh, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, Your mom. Uh, uh, <laughs> Got him. Let me see what else. What else? What are we on? Uh, Stitcher. Twitch. <laughs> uh, we're on Facebook. What's the swipe one? The dating thing? Tinder? <laughs> we're on Tinder. Swipe right? Is that the good one where you swipe right? Uh, we're all that shit, man. Instagram. Instagram. Snapchat. We're on Snapchat? <laughs> no. Oh, I was about to say, we're on Snapchat. I didn't know we were but on yeah, Snapchat. Uh, make sure y'all follow. Please share. Help us out over here. We're Comment trying to what you guys would like for us to talk about. Uh, keep a lookout for the content that we're going to bring out. Um, Wednesday, out check Day out. Show. Yeah, Hump Day Show Wednesday. We, we watched us. So check it out. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Thank you so much for following us, watching the show. Have a good one, motherfuckers. We love you. No, I wouldn't go as far as that. I love them. I love my mom and my dad. I love them. <laughs>